Hello everybody, I'm coming to you from Destiny 2 on PS4. Now, at the moment, Destiny 2 is free on PS4 till October 2nd for PlayStation Plus users. Now, the only reason I'm doing this right now, recording this little bit here, is because of a theory that I've watched. See? Oh, there it is. There it is right there. What do you think that is? There's a lot of speculation as to what it is. I myself believe that it might be the hive worm god that was inside Oryx at the end of Oryx Raid. Now, this is kind of spoilers for people who haven't done Destiny 1 and done the raid. I haven't done the raid, but I have friends who did, and I also like to spoil myself. Now, this is spoilers warning right here. At the end of the raid, Oryx turns into, like, stone and starts falling towards Saturn. And we know that Titan is a moon of Saturn. And because of how giant Oryx is in that raid, and how big he actually is, there's a lot of speculation that that is the Hive Worm God that is inside of Oryx. Now, in the expansion to the Warmine, we actually fight a Worm God. Now, I haven't gotten to that point yet on PS4. I'm only on that part on my Xbox One, because that's where all my good stuff is. But, this is the, what mission is this? Utopia mission. This is the second mission, I believe? No, it's the third mission, because you have the first one when you land, and then there's another one right after it that you cannot pick. So this is actually the third mission, the first one that you can choose to do, and so forth. But, let's see. I do not know how long it takes that thing to make its rounds only because I had been waiting over there to see if I could get it, but I jumped over here and I saw it and I was like, oh, I might as well just do it now. So I've been wanting to kind of do this for a while now, except I don't have, I didn't have Destiny 2 on my PS4, but since it's free because the Forsaken DLC comes out tonight at midnight for those of us that have pre-ordered it and pre-purchased it, like myself, on Xbox One, or PS4, or, you know. So, I'll be waiting for that. Of course, I'll have it on Xbox One first before I get it on PS4. Xbox One comes first for me, because that's where all my good stuff is. It's where my clan is. I mean, they're here on PS4 too, but they're never really playing on PS4. So, but, yeah. Doesn't look like he's going to make his way back anytime soon. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop right here. Oh, this thing's so shiny. And, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think about this. Now, the little lore that I figured out is mostly from watching other people's lore videos. And, really, a lot of it is very in-depth. Uh, let me see if I can remember who I always watch. I'll write it in the comment. I'll write it in the um, description. If I could do a link, I would- Oh, look, it's back! Get it? It's so big. Oh wow, it's down there this time. That's weird. That's weird. Cause it was up- What? You're big! I wanna shoot you. I can't. Because if- Here's the thing. If you shoot a hive in the head, precision kill, I've noticed that their hive worms that are inside of them as a symbiose drop out of them. So, and because of the hive worm god that was inside of Oryx, it is extremely possible that this guy can survive on his own without him. Which is why there's so much speculation about it, and it, frankly, I... All basically believe it that that is what it is also when you're up top if you're looking out at the water from where you spawn in you can actually see him breaching the surface of the water of Titan so but like I said this is just stuff that I've read and heard from other people and I'm a big lore fan so I, I watch all kinds of lore videos from like Vadavidia and, um, well, mostly about a video, but, so, 
mostly him. There's one other guy who does Destiny lore specifically. I'm trying to remember what he is. But I'll write it in the description. So, like, comment, subscribe, like I said. And I'll see you all in the next one.